Um, hello, this is Megatrain coming at you with a a Halo Mega Bloks review on EVA's Last Stand. Uh, set 969-937, ages 8 and up, and it has 169 pieces. It's the Halo 10th year anniversary, and it comes with two hunters, an EVA Spartan, and a Crash Warthog. There's Master Chief thing right there. Yeah. Um, on the back, nice action and shot. There are some of the other sets, the red combat unit, the, um, the ODST Ambush, the Brute Prowler, and the two ODST Drop Pods, the Arctic Sniper, and the Recon. There are the guys as they appear in the game. And, um, it says here, On authentic, war-torn battle terrain, a green EV Spartan is the last UNSC soldier in his unit. On the run from two Covenant hunters, he finds a battle-damaged warthog and makes a heroic stand using its powerful mounted turrets against its Covenant head pursuers. Yeah. Yeah, that's the box. Now on to the set. First, it comes with an EVA Spartan from Halo 3. In Halo 3, I think you can unlock you can unlock the armor by beating the campaign on normal. I don't know how you unlock it in Halo Reach or if it's already there, but it has a different and mask from helmet from the flame marine as you can see by the stuff and designs around the middle it has a different chess piece which is is uh trying to get in the focus yeah there as you can see is a new chess piece which is pretty awesome and he has a black assault rifle. This comes in a lot of sets. Doesn't only comes in a couple sets in black, but yeah. And there's a hole in his back as you can see, and you can just stick the assault rifle in there like that. And yeah. Now on to the Hunters, they are, both of them are exactly the same. Same. And, um, yeah. They're blue, unlike the hunters in the older sets, which were purple. Oh. Oh. And, uh, they have a big shield, which can be taken off. A little shoulder there, which can be taken off too. A little hand things. I don't think they have it in the actual game. They have big, big feet that bend like it. They're like an a little action figure. There's the in the middle. It has the orange weak spot in the game. If you shoot that, boom! Instant. It comes with a different gun than older designs. I think this is the Halo 3 and Halo Reach version. The purple one was the Halo Wars version. That's my cat in the background. <coughs> um, um, the spines on the back can be removed. And... When you get this set and you open the bag so the hunters are in different pieces, is so you can like take them apart and stuff for decapitation. <coughs> it's really hard to get the head off, off though and back on. So yeah. And it comes with two of them, which makes this set all the more, <laughs> more appealing. Hey. 
the older sets only had one per set, and only two sets came with the hunter. Now, hang on. And, um, yeah. Here's the Crash Warthog. It has a new turret design. As you can see, it's not just black, it's entirely new, as you can see from the chain and the thing it goes into. And, and the cool part is, like in the actual. Like in the actual game, the thing down there rotates with it. So, like, when you put the EVA Spartan on there, here, he can turn with it. Like this. Not like in older designs where the, the um, where the figure hardly moved, and I think I got the old turret design somewhere in this box. old turret design. Let me take them off. To, let me take both the turrets off to show ya. As, as you can see, the turrets are different. This one has the things in facing down like in the actual game. This one has them facing as multiple things facing in different directions. The figure can't even grab the things there. This one's gray as you can see and this barrel pops off easily because it's just a peg. On this one the barrel sticks in in a thing, not a it's a peg, not a stud, so it stays in there very sturdy. And yeah, this is turret's pretty nice. This does not come with the set. Um. Okay, now for the actual rest of the warthog. It's a lot like the new Rocket Warthog in the Rocket Hog vs. Anti-Aircraft Gun. As you can see, it's missing the piece there, which is there to simulate the rack. Chair, tire, I think it was with one tire, unfortunately. Top thing, um, headlights, yeah cool rock and plant pieces that you could probably use for the battlescape. Um, yeah, it comes with plasma burn, earn danger sign, those are all stickers. A lot of stickers. No printed things except for the figures. Sorry. And, um, I'm not sure, but these right here may be new pieces, it may be wrong. Yeah. There's a steering wheel, and yeah, and in the directions it says that, <coughs> I don't have the instruction, okay, I don't have the instructions with me at the moment, but it does say in the, in the instructions that if you have the Rocket Warthog set, you can combine that with this to make a working warthog. Um, I have a simpler method, but it makes the warthog look 
look a little crappy, but I may show that in a different video or just never show it at all. Hold on, let me show you. It only comes with one tire. It's, yeah. You can put the chair in the missing chair thing, obviously. Oh yeah, these chairs have a hard time sticking down. Maybe putting them too close to the wall or the set may be warped. Huh. Now, take this piece, put it on top. This piece. And, uh, yeah. This piece. And, yeah, it comes up with a bent up antenna, too. Pretty sturdy, also, unlike in older designs. And, yeah, that's about it. Um, this set costs $20, and I say it's worth it. Get it, get it if you find it. The main reason it's worth it is for the Hunters and the EVA Spartan. Yeah, um, this set is pretty awesome. Um, I don't know what else to say about this set. It's just great, especially for you, warthog and hunter lover lovers, since we don't see a lot of hunters. Let's hope Mega Blocks makes another set of drones. Hunts. A set of drones, I mean. And that's it. Rate, comment, subscribe, and bye.